Hello everybody, it's Shoddy Mills. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, thank you everybody for watching the last video where we talked about, uh, I just, I alluded to how, where I started with music. And today I wanted to elaborate on the struggles on being a music artist that no one sees. So, behind the scenes, nobody sees the, the grind, the long hours that you put in to writing, recording, mixing, and mastering. Nobody sees that. Nobody sees that. It's, I think it's just when listeners listen to music, they just listen to it and they're like, yeah, this sounds good. It really sounds good. But they don't see the work that is put into the real music, actually, with all, like, the background vocals, the ad-libs, the main vocals, the takes, the, the amount of takes that it takes to really get the right recording, the right desired recording. Man, I, I've... I've had this feeling in the studio where I'm like feeling the feeling the vibe of the song and I could feel the difference between when I kill the verse or when I flop it. And you some you can just know confidently when you do like kill the verse. And then other times you're just like, damn man, that didn't sound good at all. I totally flopped that. I totally was slurring my words. But you know, you just gotta take the good with the bad sometimes, and sometimes that's just a total struggle, man. It's like, people, like artists, I think they, sometimes we have what we call perfectionism syndrome. Perfectionism syndrome, because we want everything to be perfect, because we're really critical about our work. Really critical about our work, and when someone else listens to it, they think it's good, and you're like, nah, man, I don't think that's good. It's because we're programmed that way to kind of think that you know it's not good enough and that you know you want to be better it's it's part of like growth even like when I'm going when I was going through my growth the recording and stuff like that I had that perfectionism syndrome example when I was recording my song household drama back in the studio down in Red Deer I was like recording it and I was like damn man sometimes like I feel like I kill the verse, then other times the, another take, and it's just like, yo, I flop it. Sometimes I forget the lyrics. And then I like gotta go back in my head. I'm like, I gotta re rehearse the song back in my head, man. It's a complete struggle, man, I tell you. But to any artist that is listening to this, anybody that's listening to this, you can overcome that. You can overcome that. And I think really like when you're recording in the studio, it does really translate. It's a lot different, but it also does help you become more confident when you're performing because then you, when you're in a situation where there's, you're surrounded by a crowd, then you're able to overcome the anxiety of being in front of a crowd. And that really helped me when I performed in my first performance down in Calgary. I always perform, I remember that weekend, I first, when I've had my show, I recorded, I mean not recorded, I performed one of my songs I didn't release yet and man, it was it was different, it was a really different experience man but I think as artists we have to, in order to grow sometimes we have to go through these uncomfortable situations such as, as in life man and it was such a big learning curve for me but eventually I learned from it but this was a real, this is a struggle of being a music artist, you always have the perfectionism syndrome that you feel that something is not good enough, but you always want to be better. You always want to be better because you want to sound better to an audience. You want to look more professional. And I think it just comes a little bit with more experience. And as I gain more experience in the studio and stuff like that, I started to get a better feel for when I did things wrong and when I did things right. And, I, and when I did get things right, man, and it clicked, man, I really, I was like really proud of myself. Like I would just like hyped up, man, I'm telling you. But yeah, thank you buddy for watching today, today's YouTube video. 
I appreciate everybody taking the time to watch. Don't forget to click the subscribe button. Stay tuned for more YouTube videos every week. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.